When we woke up this morning, our plan for the day was to drive our van up to the Sierra Nevada mountains in the east of California to enjoy a few days of winter fun in the snow. We spent the past several weeks exploring the US in the snow and by now we're pretty well adjusted to living in our van in extremely cold winter weather. Ah, the inside of the van is frozen. How nice, winter van life. Well, as, as well adjusted as you can be. But a few hours into today's drive, we encounter a snowstorm with whiteout conditions. We don't see the road anymore even, so we really need to be careful. And from there, bad luck seemed to find us at every turn. If stuff like this will keep happening, we might not be able to complete our trip. But before we show you everything else that went wrong, let's start with the snowstorm. So we're at 7,000 feet altitude now. It just starts snowing. It's getting dark and snow is becoming more and more. So we really need to be careful right here because It is about one more hour, normally about an hour more driving before we get to... It's gonna get be two. To, it's gonna be two in this weather um, before we get to the spot that we are thinking of spending the night. Just need to be really careful because the snow is really becoming worse now. It's almost white out now and snow on the road keeps getting thicker and thicker. I don't see the road anymore even. So we're seeing a few people stop on the side of the road to put on their snow chains. We also have snow chains. We are thinking of also like pulling over to put ours on, but there isn't really a pullout area. So it seemed like that might be kind of dangerous. It is becoming a little bit nerve wracking because I mean, we're not braking as well as before. So, okay, so we found a pullout. We're just gonna, I mean, it's not getting any better. Well, fortunately, I have done this before. Unfortunately, it's been more than two years ago since I've done this. This is what our second snow chain looks like. It seems to be broken. I, I don't think it's usable anymore. Like this bit here is supposed to be continuous. We have two separate pieces and that's not supposed to be this way. We used it two years ago in the Arctic and we didn't check if they were still okay after we used them. We assumed. Yeah, it's completely mangled. Harris, I don't have an idea if it's better to drive with one snow chain on or no snow chains all at all. I have no idea. Uh, I don't have any internet to check right now. No reception here. Just gonna drive a few meters with one snow chain on and then I guess time will tell. I'm actually a bit nervous now, but not ideal, but I think it's best to just continue. Let's just hope that we can get off this mountain with one snow chain. This is just nuts how much snow there is here. Like the part we're driving through right now outside the van, that's crazy amounts of snow right next to the road. So yeah. What's going on here? I have no idea what's going on. Are these cars in the middle of the road, did they have an accident? Look at this weather. Now you just went out there to check. Look at the wind. I think that car, that guy starts, starts kidding down the road and it's just stuck. Oh, it's all right, he has snow chains. He's putting on his snow chains. And we have another one here that seems to be stuck. Literally not 100 feet oh, further down the road. Oh, he's just moving sideways, that's not good. The road is just super icy, so I mean, if you don't have like, proper tires or snow chains. Or just one snow chain. Or one, we have one. So far so good, I mean, it's another 10 miles. We have another issue with our van and now it's even worse than before. The van is going into limp mode so we can only drive like 
15 miles an hour. Said we need to head for maintenance really soon. You might remember we just had maintenance done like two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, this is not good. Yeah, it's not good. Now it seems like something's really wrong because the van isn't really driving anymore, so... We yeah. think we should still be able to drive it to the nearest mechanic, which is 400 feet. I, th I think we can do it 400 yards, but... <sighs> Come on, Benny. Come on, I hope we can still get to the garage before we completely break down. Yeah, this is as fast as the van will go, so... 15 miles. Okay, so we've come to the nearest mechanic and they're currently having a look at our van. They don't seem to be very scared by the fact that it's a European van, as opposed to most Ford dealerships we've been to, so... Why are you wearing shorts? It's winter. <laughs> we were on our way to do laundry and I wanted to get all my long pants washed, so I put on shorts and I walked into the shop and got like... I mean... <laughs> it's freezing! <laughs> They must be like these crazy Europeans. Yeah. All right, so they've been looking at it for an hour now and they don't really know what's wrong. And now they can't get the van to start anymore. So it's not looking great. In addition to the van issue, we are about to run out of our US visa in a few weeks. Anxiety is running high. I probably should not have had this coffee because I'm already feeling anxious and sometimes caffeine makes it a lot worse. And I can hear them like, I've heard them like 10 times trying to start the van engine and it just won't start anymore, so... Oh. So the news is not good. Um, really not good. And we just left the mechanic shop and we're now gonna head to diner to have some lunch. All right, so situation, there's bad news and there's bad news. Some good news and some potentially really bad news. Uh, so they did a few hours of work on it, they analyzed everything. Uh, they took down the fuel tank to see if the fuel pump was working and then they found what's most likely the problem. They let me smell the diesel tank and it just smells horrible, almost like rotten eggs. The diesel in there looks very cloudy, blue, turquoise, not how diesel is supposed to look like the guy said. I've been working on engines or cars for 14 years, never seen this in my life, so something's definitely horribly wrong. The bad news is that the pump, the fuel pump that's in a diesel tank that pumps up the fuel towards the engine uh, is broken now, it was clogged up, so we're gonna have to order a new fuel pump, a new diesel filter housing that has a secondary fuel pump in it as well, and then we're gonna have to order that back in Belgium, have it shipped over here. It's basically the same problem we've been having all along. It's Friday now, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so everything is close now. So hopefully we can contact someone Monday or Tuesday and then, I mean it's gonna take a while for us to get out. And then the potentially very bad news is that they think the cause of all of this is a bad batch of fuel. So we fueled up somewhere at a gas station where there was something horribly wrong with the diesel. But they've never seen it go this horribly wrong. The alternative, something way worse that could be wrong, is that somehow AdBlue or death, the thing a diesel engine needs to be able to start the engine and that is in a separate tank in the car could have somehow made it into the main diesel tank and if that happens like the entire fuel system is contaminated and they will have to replace not just the pump or two pumps but like all of it the diesel tank the fuel lines all of it like the entire fuel system which would cost us thousands and they say that even though it's very unlikely, because we sure as hell did not put AdBlue or DEF into our fuel tank, but if that is the problem, it's gonna cost us thousands and a long time to get those parts here, so yeah. We're gonna have some food and try to let things sink in a little bit. So the thing is, no matter what, we have, to, we have to stay in this spot no matter what. They took out our diesel tank, it's currently in the shop. Um, the fuel system's effed up, so we can't do anything until we get all this fixed. And we're stuck here in one place, can't even start the van, can't even drive it around the corner, no nothing. Um, it's literally impossible. There is, however, some good news though. 
The guys of the shop are kind enough to offer to let us stay here in the parking lot in our van uh, for the next coming days at least. So we don't have to go look out for a hotel, pay for a hotel, get our own food. We can still stay in our house. Our house doesn't drive anymore. At least we're not homeless for the moment. They're not gonna be in the shop anyway for the next few days because it's weekend and it's New Year's Eve. So yeah, we can stay here in the parking lot. So for now, this is going to be a view out of our bedroom window. I was just thinking though that um, since we don't have a diesel tank underneath our van anymore, our diesel heater is not going to work and it is winter. The weather is not looking too dandy for this weekend, so minus 10 at night. So I think they're setting like a jerry can with fuel underneath where normally our fuel tank is, so that means we should be able to run our normal heater. Can you try the diesel heater? See if it works. It's not how I imagined this part of the holidays to be. I guess I kind of just feel like we just had this happen like two weeks ago. Now we're gonna be here stuck waiting for parts and best case scenario, we're, we'll be here for like a week, a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Worst case scenario, they have to replace our entire fuel system if it turns out that it's death and, and that's gonna cause so much like they said that could, depending on the parts, that could easily cost two, three k or more, plus shipping and it's big pieces, so it'll be expensive to ship. And I don't know. I just I don't want to assume the worst, but I just hate all of the uncertainty. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get out of here. Might cost some money, might take a bit of time, but... I just hate that it just happened like a few weeks ago and... If, yeah. it, if stuff like this will keep happening... We might not be able to complete our trip. Because we can't yeah. keep spending this much money on repairs and... Yeah, I know. And our US visa runs out in less than a month <laughs> and we can't move at least we are fine we're healthy <laughs> I know it's just parts and some time and some money I know it could be way worse it's just I know it sucks we've got the heater working the guys gave us power we've got electricity we've got electricity <laughs> power heater they're I know they're amazing it. they're amazing I'm just happy I don't have to do this by myself yeah. Well, you're not going to believe what we woke up to this morning. Um, it's a hint, I'm gonna need several layers of pants for the expedition we're going on today. I'll give you a little hint. Like, what, what happened? <laughs> so they detached the car battery. Uh, so it means that we don't have any power in the van for like the normal van. So of course we still have our electricity in the back of the van. But that also means that we cannot close the van. I was just checking, but I'm not sure like why they detach the battery, so I'm just gonna leave it as is, like not to cause any more problems, but that does mean we need to leave the van unlocked. Yeah, we can't lock it. And all our stuff is here. Obviously our valuables are in our safe, but still. So we're putting all our good faith in the good people of Gardnerville, all 6,000 of them. Please don't rob us, because they can literally take everything from us. We already don't have a lot at the moment, so. Maybe someone breaks in and does our dirty dishes for us. I welcome you. <laughs> okay, Vinny. Please still be here when we come back. <laughs> like he's not going anywhere because he doesn't have a fuel pump. They can't steal him, but they could break into him. Oh my goodness, this snow is crazy. 
Look how deep this is. This is just a few hours. <laughs> and there's gonna be more. So here's the deal. Today is New Year's Eve. We have our van, so we have a place to sleep. Good. We have nice snowy weather, which is what we wanted for New Year's. But the only thing that we don't have is food and water. And right now, there aren't really any taxis driving because it is wetter. And the nearest Walmart is 50 minutes walking. An hour. An hour. Without snow. So we're on a mission <laughs> to hopefully get some food from Walmart. If we can get there. We can just mope in our van and like be like unhappy and whatever. But I mean it doesn't help us anything. So we're just gonna make the most out of today, make the most out of New Year's. You wanna sit down for a minute? Uh I'm good. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> this is crazy. So apparently there is another small supermarket along the way, but they're out of power because of the snow. Probably there's no power. This is crazy. It's like, yeah. This New Year's Eve is turning into much more of an adventure than we could have possibly bargained for. I don't think any of these are working and people are using lights to look into the refrigerator. Thank goodness, guys. The alcohol section is safe. We can have a merry new year after all. Yeah, I think this is the most important part. Who cares about the food? I mean... We discovered that there is one crazy Uber driver in this town. And uh, we took an Uber home. With the yeah. groceries, because my goodness, we had to carry jugs of water as well. Seems all our stuff is still in here. Thank you, Gardnerville. No one did the dishes though. We bought a bunch of alcohol. It's time to put it in the fridge. <sighs> My God, look at the van. Pretty crazy. Nick! <laughs> we love snow on the camera. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> no! Oh! The <laughs> snow is inside. <laughs> oh my god, baby! <laughs> So when we took the taxi back here, the taxi driver was actually very concerned when we told him that we were stranded in the white van in all that snow without any power except for the short power provided to us by the garage and the jerry can of diesel that they've put underneath our van to help our diesel heater work he was like, are you guys sure you're gonna be okay? And we were like, of course you're gonna be okay! But then we checked the weather forecast for tomorrow tomorrow it's going to be minus 16 and we've just come to the conclusion that this town is doing a kind of either a rolling blackout system or they're getting more blackouts because our power, the shore power that the guys from the mechanic shop gave us is no longer really helping us charge anything and according to our phones we're gonna run out of power in less than 40 hours at which time it will presumably be minus 16 outside oh my god guys I just wanted to come outside to get the liquor I can't even find it anymore it snowed so much. This is where we put it, but... Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh my goodness. Really important things first. Drinks. We don't have any ice to put in glasses, but I'm pretty sure it's ice cold because there's pieces of ice on top of it. So I think we're good. All right, start it off with some tonic. This is one of my favorite gins, Hendrick gins. Made out of cucumber. Not a big fan of cucumber, but somehow I like cucumber gin. I don't even like tonic, but I like gin tonic, you know. Then we take one cucumber. We add some pieces of cucumber, like this. And then some black pepper. 
Now what do we do? We just chuck it back outside. I actually chuck the bottle! <laughs> Alright, we've got some potatoes cooking. Gonna add some butter here. And then some onions. And we're gonna start cooking the sauce. I'm gonna start preparing the sauce for the main course, which is gonna be... This beautiful salmon filet that we got. Now I'm gonna add in some fresh dill. Always really good with salmon. A little bit of mustard. We've got our salmon here and I've made a nice marinade with some soy sauce, some ginger, a bit of garlic, uh, a little bit of brown sugar and some lime. Some of you might be thinking, why don't we just leave the van and go to a hotel given all of the circumstances, but it just, it wouldn't make any sense to us. Like we live on the lowest possible budget anyway. We just try to have fun with that. Um, but why would we leave our van, which is essentially our house, to go and sit in like a hotel where we can't cook our own food and we can't probably bring any alcohol and a bunch of other stuff. Um, it just makes a lot more sense to hang out in the van, make the best of it and it's an adventure. Maybe not the adventure we'd hoped for, but it's still an adventure. Okay, some butter, cream. Die, potatoes, die! Ah! All right, for now, with the finishing touch, I'm gonna add a little bit of maple-infused bourbon. Whoa! Nice! There we go. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. My lady, your breakfast is served. Doesn't this just look incredible? <laughs> That's good? That is good. I will even go so far as to say that is worth almost torching the van over. No, it's really mm. good. <laughs> Sometimes in moments like this when we're like stuck and we're gonna have to be waiting for parts again for the van, order them from home and wait for God knows how long, I question if like if we can even do this and I've had in the past 24 hours the thought, especially yesterday of like shouldn't we just stop this journey and this illusion that we can actually go down to Argentina but and it feels like sometimes it's just crazy like it can never ever happen because look at all these stupid obstacles along the way um, but then again I think that we might actually be just crazy enough to realize all of that and despite all of it not quit Still and just it. continue anyway like screw it we're going to Argentina <laughs> And we will find a way. Bomb. Quitting. Highway. <laughs> the Pan American Highway. Pain is temporary. Quitting is forever. Oh, wow, Nick. Wow. Look, never stop drinking. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, it's. <laughs> I'm knee deep in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What time? Oh, it's, it's New Year. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to do the countdown, but I got Happy stuck in the snow. Year. Happy New Year. Wow. Oh, we were coming outside for the fireworks. There is nothing. Like we assumed there would be something. It's crickets. <laughs> there is nothing in this town. Zero. But anyway, we want to say a big thank you, not just for watching this video, but for every single video you've watched, any comment you've given, every little piece of support we've gotten from you guys over yeah. the past year. We hope to show you much more of the Pan American Highway, Vinny allowing in 2023. Bye. Bye.